Details of the investigation into T. Daddy Sanford over allegations of child pornography were unveiled today, and the court documents offer new information on the investigation, which never led to charges. A recent ruling from the South Dakota Supreme Court allowed the search warrant affidavits to be unsealed. Sanford's lawyers wanted the court to keep search warrants and other documents from being made public. As Kettleland's Tom Hansen shows, we now have a better idea of what led up to the investigation. It all started with a cyber tip from the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children to South Dakota authorities on August 19, 2019. It indicated there were images of child pornography on a Verizon AOL Oath user account. The agent assigned to the case traced those images to an account used by Denny Sanford. The agent viewed three images of what appeared to be naked, underage girls. The investigation also led authorities to a phone registered to Premier Bank. Someone at the bank confirmed the number was used by founder T. Denny Sanford. Another affidavit says the agent also got access to an email address and found six more images of nude prepubescent girls sent by a Samsung Galaxy phone. Investigators filed the affidavits to gather more information from Verizon and Midco to better determine whether Sanford had been the one to download the images or if his phone had been hacked, as his attorney at the time, Marty Jackley, had claimed. Jackley is, of course, now attorney general. In 2022, the deputy attorney general, working under Jason Roundsburg, filed a document closing the investigation, saying, quote, there are no prosecutable offenses within the jurisdiction of the state of South Dakota. A lawyer for Sanford responded minutes after the documents were released today, saying, quote, releasing preliminary allegations made prior to completing the full investigation only misinforms people and obscures the investigation's conclusions that no prosecutable offenses occurred. Sanford is now 87 years old and has donated billions of dollars to philanthropic causes. Tom Hansen, Kelloland News. If you are interested in seeing the court documents released today, we've posted them with this story on Kevaland.com.